When the day's gone long and you can't take it Matt and Patty gonna help you forget They'll show you the mix to lift your spirits So a couple of drinks with the Clarks Hello, everybody! And we're back! <laughs> Here's your stupid, here's your stupid phone. Shut your stupid face! Oh my god! <laughs> so prior to the the fiasco that you're about to witness, folks, you could have seen um, some smashing glasses, uh, some attitude from this side of the room. Whatever. <laughs> I'll show you attitude. Yeah, welcome, folks, to a couple of drinks with the Clarks. We, of course. Are not in a great mood. No, just kidding. We are totally the Clarks, but uh, we might not be by the end of the Clarks. weekend. We are the dysfunctional Clarks this yeah. evening. Yeah, because. Oh, um, my gosh. Well, first things first, <laughs> I would like to um, talk about the elephant in the room. And I don't mean. Uh, don't call me an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't mean you look. Check that out behind my head da, 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 da. Um, la. <laughs> glorious, glorious. glorious. <laughs> i'm gonna totally drink <laughs> jinx drink Ooh, we both so, said it at the same time ladies and gentlemen we have well, i don't even uh, need to put my glasses on to see we that we have a new barrel head we do from the very nice folks these are not sponsors. We actually purchased it from them. <laughs> Very nice folks at Midwest Barrel Company. So, so, so accommodating. Great people. Um, basically, as soon as I said, hey, can you do this? They were like, sure. And they showed us what it would look like, where it would be on the barrel. Yeah. And honestly this barrel full disclosure very well could come crashing down at any moment <laughs> it is so happy because it, it's like it's like it says 25 pounds but i don't believe it i think it's probably closer to 30 pounds anyway <gasps> it is a real true barrel head if you if you go if you over could there only closer smell to it that, right now it has this beautiful i mean it's like a distillery over there it's, it's really cool it smells so good as i was cleaning up back here earlier you yeah, know because my husband decided here. to break stuff everything over here you have the to sun clean up today. afterwards yeah <laughs> i'm not cleaning you that you totally up. are yeah that, you do nothing other than that <laughs> So. Wow, this is really going to turn into a, do a domestic at the Clarks tonight. <laughs> Not a couple yeah. of drinks at the Clarks. So anyway, um, as we were cleaning up over here, I would I I would walk by it with my with my wipes and stuff, and I'd be like, "Oh my god, it smells, it smells so awesome, good, it's so good." It's like being at a, at a bourbon distillery. It really yeah. is. Yeah. It's yeah. just and that it is permeates the room. That is it's like a, not, it's like a car freshener. It is. And here's the thing. It's not a decal on no, there. It is etched. It's lasered in there. Lasered into the wood. You can actually feel, feel it. Feel the grains and stuff. And feel the grains. But don't. And, but but do, yeah, but don't but, touch it. But don't touch it. <laughs> but from start to finish, yeah. you ordered this. It was only a week. About a week. Maybe and that's, a little bit longer because. Well, that's because it got stuck in Syracuse. That's well, no, there was no a, fault of theirs. No, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a Syracuse thing. It was a delay. With a supposed train derailment, I don't know where the hell that oh, was. Oh, jeez! But yeah, that's what it was. It only delayed uh, maybe a day. Yeah, but still, I mean, it would have been here in less yeah. than a week. So they're very accommodating. If you're very looking cool. for anything for your bar or a barrel head or a wine barrel they, head, they or... even do some commercial stuff where if you have a, a brewery, you can buy like whiskey barrels and age your beer and whiskey barrels and stuff. So, really? Yeah, it's really. I mean, we we just did our part, uh, yeah, because we want a beautiful decorative <clears throat> barrel head, and this is way more than I thought we would get. Oh, it's gorgeous! And mean, it's like it has, three inches thick. Yeah, and it has the the metal ring around it. It's yeah. gorgeous. It's it's so thick yeah, too. Beautiful. So Midwest Barrel people or Barrel Company, we Thank salute you. you. Thank you I so much. Salute you. Yeah. Yes. All right. So tonight we are talking the show. Talk about it. Yeah, have come, a drink hey, listen. With us. If you want to come on our show, come on our show, and we'll let you talk barrels. What about barrels? And we'll make some drinks and have some laughs. <laughs> what about barrels? <laughs> Absolutely. So, we are talking tonight about a beautiful product, brand new. 
this is really nowhere, but I worked with it. In our basement. Yeah. Uh, this <laughs> this is called Ita- Italicus. It is a Rosolio de Bergamotto. Oh, wow. Yes. See, si. buongiorno. <laughs> You're not even one bit Italian. <laughs> and I am, and I have no clue if you said that right. <laughs> no. All right. So the story goes. Okay. Is I love a good story. Rosolio is a aperitif. What is going? What is this clinking noise? Oh, it's the ice bucket. Um. So anyway, Rosolio is a aperitivo, and it is the latest one. But it was actually the first aperitivo. So they have like, um. Okay, you know I'm going to ask. Okay. What's an aperitivo? Okay, an aperitivo is a is a liqueur that you. Uh, drink before you eat. You should get your, get your juices flowing. Makes your appetite go. Oh, Usually really? they're bitter. Yeah. So you're like you like your Campari's, your Aperols, your Chinar. Those are all bitter. Um, and Amaro, Averno Amaro. Those are all bitters that kind of get you in the mood to eat. Not that we need any help, <laughs> but it, yeah, they it, never it's, needed yeah, any help it's to like, eat. To, as in, that's where like the term but appetizer opens up your from. palate and it just gets you gets you wanting to eat and having a good time and stuff. Yeah. I might have said that wrong, but I doubt it. Huh. I might have. Put it in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever comments. <laughs> I'm always wrong. Although my wife will probably blow up the comments. You are always wrong. So <clears throat> so Rosolio was lost to a certain degree. And this company found this recipe. Um, Giuseppe Gallo, nice Irish kid. I love that name. Giuseppe Gallo. He found the recipe, and it's made with some botanicals and uh, the bergamot, which is like a citrus um, that is looks almost like it's about the size of an orange, but it's like yellowish green. It's really, really, really interesting. Um, it's it's similar growing season like the um, blood oranges. Blood oranges grow normally from like November through February, and and they're they're harvested in that time. So the same 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 type of thing with this. Uh, but this is some botanicals, and there's chamomile in there. There's lavender, I believe, in there. There's the uh, of course bergamotto. Which is that citrus fruit that we talked that I just talked about? This and of course the bottle. This bottle is just it's gorgeous, and it is the gorgeous. guy loves art. He loves uh, his Italian culture, his heritage, and this is fantastic. So without I like the black and white top, yeah, and it's really cute. Cute, really. This is really a beautiful product. So what is it supposed to taste like? Well, the bergamotto. Is a citrus fruit. Mm, I can smell it. Yeah, wicked. Wowzy. Yeah, it's so good. So you can drink this by itself on the rocks mm. or as a spritz with champagne. Mm. Um, I'm making a cocktail that is strictly for us. Mm. That we, of course. Oh well, I'll smell that. Okay. That is just. Let's just see what I smell. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see. Let's smell. Let's... I smell microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never let you live that down. What did I do? Oh yeah, I did. I go. Right, smell smell my smell uh, smells like <laughs> smells like blue foam. <laughs> I microphone did. I went just like this. <laughs> I'm okay. sorry, folks. I apologize. <laughs> no, I don't. Not really. I'm just. Like if I have to, it's one of those okay. things. I don't want to trigger anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Okay, so I almost I smell like. Okay, are you ready for this? I'm ready. First thing I got was an orange, but not not overpowering orange. I got like a little, it's but almost... then immediately. Okay. Immediately, I got the smell of what it would smell like if you open up a can of Sprite. Okay, I get that. Yeah, okay, I got the lemon, the I'll lime, boom, boom. Quick, yeah, quick. I think the Bergamotto is a, and that's the Italian uh, version. 
uh, is a citrus fruit that is almost like a cross between a lemon and a lime. Oh, so I would have gotten that right. Yeah, I think so. Crisp and clean it? and no caffeine. <laughs> feeling right, seven up, I'm feeling seven. Mm. All right, so, but it's almost like it's candied, though. It's almost like a candied orange peel. Yeah, yeah. With like chamomile tea in the finish, you know, chamomile it has like tea. a has like a tea. I'm just gonna drink it. Yeah, I haven't had a sip yet. Mm. Mm. It's sweet. It is sweet. It, it well, it's sweet, but the finish is bitter a little bit. The finish has like the finish has the tea. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's really good. That's really good. And the thing about this too is it's it's twenty percent alcohol by volume, so it's forty oh. proof. So it's light and easy so it's to drink. Light. So if you if you don't want to, you know, drink a lot, so you can do like a shot of this with some club soda and a slice, uh, you know, a slice of they say pink grapefruit. That's like their their thing. So how you doing over there? I'm not sure doing? I like the way you positioned your feet tonight because I can't really I'm put mine sure where I'm like supposed to. <laughs> Jamming your knees into the side of my hip, but uh, yeah, we need, we need a, bigger a bigger bar. bar. <laughs> That's, twice. That's twice. Oh my god, I gotta get out of this house. That's twice. Twice is nice. Right, so I'm going to make what I am affectionately calling it the me. Italicus Frizzate. I like that. Okay. I like it. What was that? Probably a dog hair. Who the hell knows? <laughs> so there are no dogs down here, though, because they won't come down no, our stairs. But no. we miss them. We do. They sleep. It, they seep it. Yeah. Well, we fed them early after we, they were running they around were playing outside, outside, outside all day. day what a beautiful day today. The um, the snow it is went still up to around. Forty degrees for all of our southern friends. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy the hot weather. We're getting a little bit of warmth Go down on the floor with a GoPro glass. <laughs> I need a better scoop. This scoop is ridiculous. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> so if I you have the video of this, struggle. folks, you can see me struggling with my little ice pick. Yeah. You know, it looks like a sport. Like remember you used to go to <laughs> you used to go to uh Kentucky Fried Chicken and you get the spork with your mashed I never went to Kentucky Fried Chicken. You never did? Oh my god. I think I've only been there a total of well, I can definitely count on one hand in all of my years, yeah, I think of, they were. I don't know if they invented the sport. But I've been but born. They, uh, but I've been alive. I mean, <laughs> they really, they really, really. All right. So, what we're gonna do? This is, uh, this is gonna be called just an Italicus frizzate. Okay. Now, and this is something that you would drink before I, you actually have your I dinner. Created, and it's oh. wicked tough to make. So, pay attention. If you're going to do. It usually means it's very easy. Yes. You're going to do one and a half ounces of italicus. Okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot one thing. Well, I'm not going upstairs. No, it's not upstairs. All right. So there's one and a half. So talk amongst yourselves. Here we go again. Don't step on in that. So he broke a glass right before the show started and kind of swept it all into one area. And I have to go up and get the dustpan. <laughs> Crunch, crunch, crunch. Okay. <laughs> because it is only 40 proof, we're going to throw a little bit of, uh, we're going to throw an ounce of Sky Vodka. What's cool about Sky is Sky is very pure. And right now, uh, the new version of Sky, they're adding Pacific Minerals, which is really kind of neat. Gives it a different mouthfeel. Just a little bit. Plus, they go great together. Pretty. Why would you yeah. want a different mouthfeel? Just out of curiosity. Just, um, for cocktails, you know. I mean, it literally feels different in your mouth. Like yes, what? What does it do? Tingle? Or... No, it just it's a it's a little fuller. Is it you know? thicker? No, just kind of rounds it out. There's different. Uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna fill this up because we because we're gonna do another one. We know another cocktail. We we're going to do it in that glass over there, but we'd not because she's a broke because he broke it. And then she's a broke. <laughs> that is there. Nice. 
So this is basically just an orange twist with club soda, vodka, and italicus risolo. Risolio, excuse me. Risolio, risolio. And a uh, little bit of vodka. Ooh. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. That, that is later. pretty. Cheers, love you. Okay, cheers, love you. Cheers, cheers everybody. It didn't sound very clinky. I wish they could smell what we smell. It smell smells vision. really good. The orange yeah, and the... And how great is that? That is great. Refreshing. Mm. Refreshing. Very refreshing. And it's like... I can so sit outside with one of those. Not, you that's know, a, now, that's but... a perfect cocktail for when it's hot and... It's something very simple to make. A little bit of twist. You can even throw a wedge of orange in there. Yeah. Any type of wedge of a citrus fruit would work with this. Really clean tasting. You could even use a flavored citrus seltzer. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just well, to bump but, it up a little bit. But here's the thing with that. And I was because we have some upstairs. I was gonna bring down the um there was blood orange and lime blood orange limeade seltzer that we have. And I thought to myself, why would I mess with the yeah, flavor, that's true. flavor of Italicus in a simple cocktail like that by adding a flavor? Mm-hmm. You know, because your flavor is Italicus, mm-hmm. you know. So it definitely does that. That ha- have that lemon lime flavor. I, mm-hmm. I get I totally get that in there. And the back end, like you look said, the, is like a it, tea. It's like it dances in there. <clears throat> the risolio is thicker. I don't yeah, know if you can see it. It is. But... But it is really, it's really pretty. It is. It To do that, and then you it see did, it. it. I don't does. know. It, like, I'll put it up. There. Can you see that? 3D House of Beef It? Every Tom. time you get up from that Dr. chair, Tom. that chair makes noise. Boom. Boom. <laughs> I think you can. You can't. <laughs> Folks, this is a train wreck and welcome aboard. Toot, toot, toot. <laughs> now, Unbelievable. What's our next cocktail? Time for me cocktail? to shine with my cocktail repertoire. So, here we go. Oh, Ready? Yes. We are going to do um <laughs> This is a gin cocktail, and we are going to use Malfi gin because these are from the Bergamato, are from Calabria, which is down in the boot, the heel of the boot. And this is grapefruit gin from the Malfi coast. Is that in the heel of the boot, too? I No, no, no. Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Why do you yell? I always yell. I'm joking. I'm totally serious, though. So, two Italian Italian gin. We are doing four ounces of Malfi grapefruit gin. Love the color of that. Isn't that pretty? Is it actually pink or is that the it bottle? Is pink. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. Ta da. Is that straight? Oh, straight. Okay. Then, I, of course, because it's me, I whipped up. Some pink grapefruit uh, simple syrup. We're going to do an ounce and a half of that. I'm so excited for this because all of these citrus fruits are going to work tremendously well. Then we're going to go with our italicus. We're going to do three ounces of italicus. I'm like shaking all over the place. Has Italicus been around a long time? Relatively new. It's within the last, I think, year. Really? Splash, splash, splash. And of course, I'm putting it into this elevator cocktail hybrid sugar. Did I say that right? Elevator craft hybrid cocktail sugar. I think so. I love wow, doing, I guess I love you do doing need ice. some I guess you do need One some new tongs. <laughs> I love doing this. Listen, the show would have been over 20 minutes ago, but I'm doing ice. <laughs> it's unbelievable. 
Oh my God! How much ice do you need? You hush your mouth, woman. I know. Oh, that look at that last half. That last. <laughs> that last half bit really. I up. say hush, woman. I say you shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm cleaning it up for the family here. I, I yeah, it. because if we were off camera, this would be a whole nother show. <laughs> One of these days, we need to do a couple of drinks of the Clark's uncensored. <laughs> I don't even trust you shaking anything tonight, sitting, standing, whatever. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now. Oh, gosh. Sure. Right, let's, let's clear, right. let's clear the on, runway. Let's clear here. the board. Clear the runway here. We're, but we're going to keep Italicus up on. Oh, we're so, gonna just keep that up for yeah. you. Because that is the star of the show tonight. So, because of my old. Where are we supposed to put these? <laughs> because of my culinary prowess, I have segmented some ruby red grapefruit. Really? Culinary prowess. What? Culinary prowess. What does that mean? It means I'm awesome. What does it mean? Culinary. Think about it. I know what culinary means. Like my culinary prowess. I'm awesome at culinary stuff. <laughs> Just you be quiet. Oh, my goodness. So here we go. Mm. Wow, oh. those are big glasses, but that looks really good. I'm excited. Yes, ma'am. Did I do a perfect pour? Almost. Let me see. Almost. Hello. You better, you better stop. And it'll be, yeah, I think you did. I did do it. Wow. I will say this. I'm very interested to drink this cocktail because right. I was looking on the line and... Uh, a lot of the the like the garnish that they say for their uh, spritz is a pink grapefruit segment or not a segment but like a hunk of uh, pink grapefruit. A hunk of hunk of hunk of a hunk of so, hunk of burning love. <laughs> moving along. <laughs> so here we go. This is the bergamotto. Are you saying that right? Yeah, it says so right on the front. I of the thought so, I thought it was just like bergamot. That's the bergamot is the owner is the citrus fruit, but this is Italicus Rosolio de Bergamato. Oh, See? excuse me. Cheers, Cheers love, you. love you. Oh, I like that better. Picasso. Cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. If you like pink grapefruit, there is the oysters ice skates. Mm -hmm. Oysters, ice skates. What is that? It's an old expression that uh, Colonel Potter used to say on the uh, Mash show. I'm a plethora it... of esoteric. Data. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. I don't know. He said it, so I'm using it. Oysters <laughs> and oysters. ice skates. It's the oysters, ice skates. <laughs> I really say that. You did say it. True. Swear to God. Well, we're gonna have to find out why. So I don't know what to call this mm. other than the wonderful Bergamotto tea. It smells. It smells really good. Really too. good. Yeah, it does. So there is Italicus, folks. I got to tell you, I'm very impressed with how really well made that is. Mm. It's got just the right amount of citrus, the right amount of sweetness, the right amount of bitter. Yeah, okay, so I do get the sweet. Okay. I get the little bit of gin. Of get that gin in there, but it's it's yeah. but it's citrusy. It's definitely citrusy. Citrus. Oh, I lost my segmented. I lost my segmented grapefruit. Mm. <laughs> You're just wound right up like a pull toy today. <laughs> oh, I took my I took my medication today. <laughs> You're going to go run around the block out here or what? With a frying pan and a wooden spoon. <laughs> Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I'm just going to cocktail it up here. Mm. It's a bergamotto teeny. I like that. Is that what you're going to call it? Yeah, because it is a uh, in a martini glass. And like we talked about last time, when you put stuff in a martini glass, you can call it a martini. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's up and it's in a martini glass. It's a martini. Yeah, but it's bone broth. 
<laughs> with oyster crackers. With oyster crackers. <laughs> it's a bone brontini. <laughs> with oyster crackers, I put into a little pick, floated on top. Yeah, would you call them a sticker? A sticker. I know what I'm talking about. Good God. Oh my God. Did you just get a whiff of the barrel? I did. I wicked just got a whiff of the barrel. <laughs> people people who know me are like, oh my God, what is she getting a whiff of? <laughs> it wasn't me. It torn That's me. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, so there, there's goodness. Italicus, folks. Go out, ask for it. Uh, I'm sure they'll bring it in for you. It's not that expensive, but you can do a lot with it. Um, the Italicus spritz sounds so good. And they also, what they do is they, add, they tell you to garnish with green olives. Because of the brininess, I guess. It, garnish italicus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Garnish the uh, spritz. No, not the spritz, but the, uh, I don't know. There's a cocktail on there, but they, they do use green olives. A it cocktail on cool. where? On their website. Oh. And to garnish it with green olives. Green olives, olives. yes. I bet but it's good. Would, there's got to be a reason would, why. Listen, there's, <clears throat> there, I'm sure it's a scientific thing, you know. Right. That, uh, right. That it works really well. So give it a whirl. Hmm. I'm not a green olive guy. I think the thing is with green olives and me, when I was a little kid, anytime there was like a gathering or whatever, one one of the parents would or one of the family members would make like a relish tray, usually my mother. But there'd be like she still does. I know, like gherkin, <laughs> gherkins and <laughs> and green olives. And I used to agree eat green olives like they're popcorn. And I think I reached my limit for my lifetime, and I don't like them anymore. You know, we but did. When a, I was little, I did. I loved them. We did a classic martini. Yes. Um, just last week, and we didn't put any olives mm-hmm. in it. We should have. I like olives. Okay. And we didn't. Now I we know put, why, because you don't like olives. All about me. That's why we probably won't do a Bloody Mary show. No, we will do a Bloody Mary show. We will. Is it because I made you drink Jaeger? Um, I didn't mind Jaeger. Jaeger's actually really good. Yeah, I I'm, I'm not the sure man. there's anything yet that I've had that I was like, I you made me drink that and now you're going to do this. Right, right. Well, there, I mean, honestly, true. <clears throat> and and then a couple of friends have said this to me. Well, Patty likes everything. Well, yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> Patty likes everything I create. Me, not so much. But truly, <laughs> I, and listen, hand to God, we we both tried the vermouth last show. Mm-hmm. It was good, but I yep. am not a fan of vermouth. Right. I will just say it forever. That's yep. why when I make a Manhattan, well, you said that when we when we when we um when we tried it, right. you were like, "I'm not really a big vermouth fan." Right. But when I do make my Manhattans, I love to do um. Ruby ports instead of right vermouth, which makes it a whole different, a whole different realm of cocktails. Right, right. Yeah. I'm, I'm. There isn't anything yet that I've tried that I wouldn't do again. Right. I. You can say, will, it, say it. Say it. Oh, I will say it. <laughs> there have been shows. Yes. That I haven't realized how potent the alcohol is <laughs> like our very first show with adam edwards where we're the, towards the end of it we're both i wasn't going, feeling hey, very good like the you. next day yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um but however however i i would still drink that stuff that i've had the the one the one show with the overproof rum holy Mother, yeah, rain that happy. was. Uh, if you go back and watch that show, I went from that's our most popular zero to <laughs> I don't even know what I went to, but it was like by the end of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I will say though, there's been a few shows like that. that I show. will say though, if you look at our very first <clears throat> show with Rabbit Hole when we had Adam Edwards on the very first time. We start out great. We're, you know, it's like a, it's like one of those races. You know, you start right big, right off the gate. And next thing you know, by the end, you're dragging, because we did get inebriated. 
Oh, I've been. And you could tell because the show kind of goes. Yeah. The GM. Even Adam's yeah. like going, okay, get the hook. <laughs> <laughs> there's some shows where, like I said, there's nothing that I wouldn't try again. And I, and I have liked everything, but I say that knowing that I'm only going to taste it or right. I'm only going to get through the show with it, but I'm not going to take that actual bourbon say, or scotch or whatever we've drank and drink it on the rocks you can, in but... a bar somewhere. I, I won't do that. I'll That's always want it mixed with something. Sure. Yeah. You make me try well, everything neat and, and I like it, well, but the, I'm the like, nice I like thing, it better when you put it with well, a drink. The, the cool thing about trying it neat is seeing how different. <laughs> Please hold. <laughs> Those damn sword things. In there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So okay. every time you get up from that chair, that chair makes awful noise. Do you know, know that? Do you notice that? It's got about a wicked cushion, and when I get off it, it goes. Hah. Yeah, it makes a lot of noise. <laughs> and it's not me, trust me. Um, but what were we saying? We were talking about. Oh yeah, but but the nice thing about tasting stuff neat with a person like yourself who really has never done that, right? It gives you the opportunity to say, oh, you know. Wow, there really is a difference between this bourbon, that mm-hmm. bourbon, this yes. whiskey, that whiskey, and how how many variables there are within the category. And the same thing goes for pretty much anything: wines, whiskeys, yeah, everything. I mean, there's a different processes, different master distillers, different master winemakers, different everything from climate where you get your 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 products that you're using to create whether it's a wine or a whiskey or where the wood comes from the barrel i mean there are so many infinite variables Variables. between creating products and and not only that but a lot of this i mean everything that is is put into a glass at one time was growing on the earth so it's it's a it's an agricultural product mm-hmm. really right and it's food right it just happens to be distilled <clears throat> and created into uh or um fermented and put in put into a liquid form so it's really that's really what you know wine and spirits are really all about is starts from the ground and it's cultivated and grown and produced into a product bottled, you know, sent across. I mean, this is sent across the ocean from Italy, you know, and you have wines that come all the way from Australia, from Chile, from, I mean, Italy, everything. I mean, there's so many variables. So that's why there's so many things out there and the prices range from, you know, this to that. So, cause it all depends on what the process all depends is on, on what each the process thing. is and, I mean, because if you talk about California wines, there are wines that are right next door to other wines, and it's like the difference between our our property and the neighbor is the fence line, mm-hmm. and the people over here are selling Cabernets for two hundred and fifty dollars a bottle. Yet our ones, neighbors, <laughs> just kidding. I'm yet just the kidding. ones that we produce, we would produce, are like fifty to sixty. So it's, right. is it that much better? just that much further away or is it the winemaker or is it the barrels you use so there's a lot that goes into or is it the production is it because that winery next door that that charges 250 dollars a bottle only creates you know twelve thousand cases a year when another winery does three hundred and fifty thousand cases a year so it it really there's so, like I said, there's so many variables, but try it all. Why not? We're well, going to try al- it all. You've always said, drink what you like, yeah. whether it's $5 and, or $500. Right. You, uh, also just drink too, what you like as long as you're enjoying yourself right. but and also drinking too, responsibly. Don't, don't, n- don't not try something new. Yeah. You know? And it's like, you know, we talked about it with our friend Wheels and, and Charlie on don't get all the meatballs. Don't eat all the meatballs. Um, you know, there, there are people who are like, oh, all I drink is Cabernet. Right, right, right. Well, 
you're missing out on so much that's out there. You know, you can take a, a Cabernet from um, Washington by North Star by David Murfeld, and I could put that into a brown bag and say, hey, I got this great Cabernet for you. And you're like, oh, my God, that's one of the best Cabernets I've ever had. And it's predominantly Merlot. Well, remember when we did the cans and the bottle? Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, it was the same ex- type situation. Yeah. I actually thought that the and I drink wine. Yes, she does. I do. And there are there are actually so. OK, so I like to have a glass of wine when I come home from work. Right. Sometimes, too. If I don't fall asleep through the second glass and Nine times out of ten. that tends to be an extremely expensive habit. So, I mean, especially if you're falling asleep with the three quarters of a glass. Right. Yes. Right. I get that. So, you know, it, it does. It is a little upsetting if you're pouring yourself a nice, healthy glass of wine and you do fall asleep through half of it. I mean, bottles of wine are not inexpensive. Mm-hmm. So. I have no problem. There are some darn good canned or box yeah. wines out there that I, I might keep at my house for when, say, all of my family comes over for Sunday dinner. I have a box of wine in the refrigerator that I'll like open fresh. But it's not like it's junk. It's Oh, no, 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 no. It's yeah. You know, it's top box from Chateau St. Michel. Right. It's Chateau St. Michel wine. And yeah. It's nice and cold and it's in my fridge and it it's not going to last that long, even between the family on Sunday, right. visitors on Saturday, whatever, you know, me drinking it all through the week. <laughs> Doesn't take long to go through a box. There's that. But yeah. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, people would, I used to poop what, a box? What are you thinking? Did you just say I poop a box? Poop poo. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said I used to poop a box of wine. I'm like, no, what is that? I did not say that. I said poo poo. You said poo, but you didn't do the other. Did poo. I not finish? Poo-poo? You didn't. Do, you didn't I poo-poo. meant to say poo poo, like I poo poo. Poo poo. Yeah. Yeah. You used to, and and here's the thing. And people would totally poo poo a screw top. Yes. When technically, it's a better seal. The only way to do it. Yeah. So you know, I mean. Here we are on our soapboxes. No, no, but we it's true. No, it's true though. So I pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Probably about 15 years ago, maybe longer. The three liter market started out with Is that a box? Yeah, three, three liter. liter. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's I'm talking. I know. I'll ask. Business. Don't worry. Like, if okay. I don't know, I ask. I don't so, give a crap. So three liter wine bo- boxes <clears throat> started doing premium. You know, it started out with like black box and yep, Boda yep, box. Yep. So throughout the the last five years, more and more wineries got into doing three liter boxes because the technology has gotten so much better with regards to the bag that is inside the box. And actually, I believe. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna interrupt. So the freshness of the wine yes. depends on the bag that's holding in the wine? Not necessarily anymore. I say that. What did right. you just say? I missed so, it. I was, okay. So a few, a few years ago, there, you know, three liter box category was there, but another company came along and I, I and correct me if I'm wrong, I might be, but Boda box was the actual name of the type of bag. Oh, okay. Okay. I believe I might be wrong. I'm I'm it's been a while, but but Boda Box started out and they just chugging along, chugging along, and then just took off because first things first, the quality is there for a three liter box. And for people who drink wine on a daily basis, like yourself. Yep, I like to. It's, it's okay. It's, it's okay a, if you do, everybody. It's a don't it's feel a, guilty about it's it. It's a good wine and you're and it's more economical. So over the last probably 10 years, the bags within the bag in the box have gotten better. Gotcha. So they're better at the, you know, keeping the air and light and all that stuff out. Mm -hmm. But they're also, you know, they're 
they keep the wine fresher longer. So this is really good. Not bad, huh? Yeah. So we have we have Chateau Saint Michel wine. So we'll Which have is the top box. Top box. Thank you. Yes. So we'll have a Pinot Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. We have the blush or the rosé mm -hmm. that they have, and then we have the red blend. Right. Right. <clears throat> is it red blend or cabernet? Yes. Red, red blend. blend. Yeah. They do so make a cab as well. It's absolutely perfect on Sundays mm -hmm. in the summer. We could have easily 10 to 15 people at our house for dinner. Depending. Yeah. Easily, yeah. If I, I mean, and I we mean, love you know, it. And we love evening, that. Normally it's like 10. Whatever. Yeah. It's yeah. normally about 10 of us. And, and we would have it no other way. But we figured out after weeks and weeks and weeks, <laughs> you know, when we're going through, you know, six bottles of wine, you know, the, these, the, this, these people may want red. I might want white that night. Someone else might want to blush. And you're it's, like, wow, we got, like, we're opening up yeah. six bottles here. Then you're, ju you're juggling wines that are, you know, 15, $20 a bottle. Right. Right. Yeah. It, you know, it gets expensive. It, it does. I mean, we're going, we're going to the liquor store. <laughs> uh, sort of. <laughs> yeah. But still it's like, geez, um, so yeah. So, I mean, if there's don't, like he said, like Matt said, Try something different. Try, yeah. you know. You get yourself out of the box, especially if you are uh, just all I drink is Cabernet person. You know, try some try some Washington State Merlots that are mm. a little bit more expensive. Uh, North Star is one of them. Uh, also, Col Solare, they make some great red blends. We're um, going to start posting some really different recipes, too, on our um on our page too, for you guys to try some new different things with some liquors that you may have bought or ask us if you've bought a liquor that we've done a show or someone on has given you a bottle or you've got, sure yeah, what to do with it. let me know. Yeah. We're cause I will research the heck out of it and mm. you know, and I'll, I'll let them yeah. <laughs> and then I'll try it. She'll watch. You. She'll watch me put together <laughs> the set. Although I will say this. You did a great job with the set behind us tonight. You rearranged some bottles and stuff. It makes it look nice. I clean up after your crap, yeah. too. You've broken glass. I, I'm like Greek. Opa! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's not my fault. I'm very clumsy. It's not my fault. I've always been clumsy. I will tell you this. If there's we something... probably won't ever do a show on any liquor or liqueur that tastes like black licorice no i'm sorry that i'm sorry we probably won't do yeah we had I bad just, experiences long long time ago yeah so anyway so we've been talking for about 40 minutes that's Have we really? enough. yeah 45 maybe i don't know whatever that thing says so anyway folks we are a couple of drinks with the clarks please like us and subscribe or subscribe and like us on the YouTubes. Follow us on Facebook. And ring the bell. Ding. <laughs> ring the bell. This yeah. is really good. Thank you. I might have to have another. I don't think so. Thank you, sir. May I have another? So anyway, get yourself some Italicus Rosolio de Bergama. Do we have any shows coming up? We are going to be doing a show for St. Patrick's Day. We're trying to iron out the um with our friend. Iron out the details. We could say who it is. I'm not we? saying no. We can. No. no. Why can't we? Because why are you like all over me? You're taking up all the freaking room behind here. Oh my god, Lord help oh, me, Jesus. God. So anyway, yeah. So we're gonna do a St. Patrick's Day show. Uh prior to St. Patrick's Day because with a friend of ours. There's no sense of going out or doing a St. Patrick's Day show on St. Patrick's Day when you've already been out drinking and then we do a show that you might want to make that drink when you're already out drinking. You follow okay. me? Okay. You follow no, me? No, 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 no. I didn't say no. <laughs> Why are you saying no? So anyway, so we will be doing a St. Patrick's Day show. It's going to incorporate Jameson and some other things. Dang. I'm not. Can I say his name? No. <laughs> We're going to be double secret probation. Dang. Double secret probation. <laughs> double secret probation. Mm -hmm. He's on double secret probation. You don't watch movies, do you? 
Well, I try to, but I fall asleep. <laughs> I really would like to watch movies. Anyway. And I'd really like to be able to drink more than two drinks and not be all woohoo, but I am. <laughs> Start shooting six guns up in the air. All right. So anyway, folks, we are Matt and Patty from A Couple of Drinks with the Clarks. You can tell by looking at this barrel head that that's who we are. A Couple of Drinks with the Clarks says so on our barrel head from our friends at Midwest Barrel Company. Did you get that right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Why? I just wondered. You looked at me like you were not sure. No, I'm always sure. I'm always sure of what I say. I might not be right. If you say it with conviction, then it must be true. Well, listen, it's all, fake it till you make it, baby. <laughs> you have no idea. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love you. No, you don't. So say anyway, that's we are going to say goodbye, to the, nice say goodbye <laughs> to the nice people right away because you got glass to clean up. Whatever. <laughs> Oppa. Don't touch, me. Don't, touch me. Don't touch me. So anyway, folks, I'm going to see if she can turn this off with. Right, okay, so all right, I'll try. From what you call it, Staples. All right, are we oh, ending? Li- listen, are I we think... ending with our song? Yeah. We're okay. Do like what? Thirty nine seconds. Right, no, so just gonna, like the whistling part of it, right? We're gonna, no, we're Thanks, gonna, TJ from Never yes, Seen. TJ from Never Thank seen. you for our song. Appreciate we it. love it. We appreciate you. Appreciate it. He's got some big stuff coming up. Uh, he does. So and we'll, his uh, brother does as well. His brother's got some movies coming out too. Awesome. So we'll uh, once we hear all the facts on all that stuff, we'll get it out there for him. When the day's gone long and you can't take it, Matt and Patty gonna help you forget. Show you the mix to lift your spirits so oh, a couple of drinks with the clarks a couple of drinks with the clarks cheers love you <laughs>